Welcome to the show, beautiful friends. Thank you for joining me. On this video, we are doing a show about shoe stretching techniques. I am Terry Edmonds, and if you are watching me on YouTube, it means you're watching the replay of my Amazon Live show that airs every Friday, 9 to 9.45. I am a shoe specialist, but my Amazon is not always about shoes, so feel free to check the playlists of my other Amazon offerings. But today, if you're watching me live, Aloha! So uh, we will be, I have a ton of shoe stretching today as Maui's only shoe cobbler. I am super busy today and so I appreciate you guys showing up, being here with me, and we'll do this little project together. So um, in the shopping, if you're trying to find me, the easiest way is to go to my website, click the Amazon button, it takes you to my Amazon shopping cart. Today we are going to be covering these shoe stretching supplies. So as a cobbler, so when you're in there shopping around in my Amazon shopping cart, when you purchase items, you are supporting me making this video content. I really love to do it. So thank you in advance for shopping with me. I consider myself an expert when it comes to shoe stretching. I actually design shoes for people with hard to fit feet, which includes up to size 16 for ladies. So, all right, let's keep going. So today, do you know what day it is today? It's Aloha Friday, right? And I don't have my big screen TV up for you guys today, but I did have this awesome footage It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. Woohoo! It's Aloha Friday. All right, I told you guys that song existed out in the world. <laughs> and one last shot here, which is hard to do with my ring light, but these are a pair of custom sandals I just made for a client uh, about two weeks ago, and she absolutely loves them. I have another project coming up that is for two gals of bridal party, both probably a size 10, 6E, and nothing can fit her feet. So we are custom making the sandals for her and for her bridesmaid. So there are all kinds of things you can do if you suffer with really large feet. <laughs> um, on my YouTube channel, my shoe stretching video is my number one uh, viewed video. It has about a half a million views. And that's because I think the shoe industry is a little bit behind the times. So there's all these great devices out there. I've listed this one in the Amazon shopping carousel for you. And um, I, uh, this is a nice little high heel one. You can tell by the shape of the shoe. We also have some really great gadgets that we're gonna touch on today. This one helps with hammer toes and toe issues. That's also here located for you in the shopping carousel. And today, I know for sure I'm using this one. This is the ball and ring, uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> but this is really great for getting these hard spots. And um, we're gonna be using all of these today. Like I said, we are super busy here at If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. And then we're also going to, I put in that shopping carousel for you, a couple of other options. These right here are really great. They are more of a cowboy boot style, right? And what's nice about this is that this can go in, because of this little elbow here, it bends. So this is a really great device for a pair of boots like this. You would just, you know, push that in there. Um, so this is a great one and I have this one listed. I think I also have it for you listed in the metal. Either way, they're all really good. Um, I, I really like these. You can get the uh, high heels for ladies as well. Um, one thing is that most of the boot stretchers, uh, they open this way. They open either to the width or to the instep. Okay, so you could either stretch the width on the boot here or you can stretch it here. They're a different device. Each one is a different piece of hardware you're gonna need. Um, and I mentioned that because I get asked a lot. 
the other question I get asked a lot is how to stretch this area and you cannot do that without buying a professional piece of equipment I just had one quoted for me and they're like a thousand dollars so um, I also do things like put a dart in the boot I can put zippers typically on the inside of the boot I will cut this piece out down to here put a zipper install a zipper and the client can just get in and out that way it actually opens the legs so that you can get your foot through here that's primarily why I do that if you've got a dress boot and it just do I have one here yeah so this client for for instance um, if this calf were too small for her I would go ahead and probably either on the back or hidden somewhere on this side I would add a piece of leather to open it up and make this calf bigger I've done that with even neoprene uh, like a, a farm boot I got a big roll from Amazon and just put a nice big sheet a piece of neoprene I think the guy had it was a regular farm boot like it was bigger rubber and we actually had to put in almost 10 inches I think he was diabetic and had a very very super wide calves and I know a lot of people out there experience it because they come in my shop so um, there are a lot of solutions especially if you can get creative with your local cobbler um, but as far as doing it yourself at home um, these are some of the tools you can use for yourself all right um, on one of the shoe forums that I saw this last week um, someone was asking what kind of a work boot to buy for their feet they've got wide feet and their toes are hurting and you know the answer seems obvious but there were so many people making suggestions I thought well let's just talk about that so I gave you a couple examples I carry this brand called Danner and those of you that follow me know about the Danner brand um, but this is one of my best sellers this is called the crafter Wellington and it has a nice wide toe box here it comes with or without the safety toe and um, just super it's probably the widest of all the Wellingtons that I have found myself it's got a very nice open uh, calf so it's pretty wide um, again this one's without the uh, toe it's a waterproof I pretty much only buy waterproof so anyway really great boot the crafter Wellington we are in spring summer so supplies are limited if you find your size and remember when you're checking Amazon make sure that you're getting the with or without the safety toe dry whether it's waterproof or not and that you're really picking your own size again it seems obvious but some people have asked all right so that's a great slip-on boot next one is the vicious this is from Danner and this is a full grain leather it's a very thick full grain leather here so it's meant to take a beating um, it's my best seller at the store I carry it only in the double E I carry only work boots and double E's and just all around I've had guys come repeat customers say how much they love it they wear it so it's unrecognizable anymore <laughs> I think that says a lot it's a fairly lightweight for such a heavy-duty boot and it does come in an 8 inch so um, in the brown and again with or without the safety toe and with a composite toe so it still meets all the safety requirements but it's lightweight okay vicious then the other third one if you have to kind of beef it up a little bit um, I would do something like the quarry this is a really great boot made in America and their Portland factory with or without a safety toe and it has a nice wide toe box so again it's a pretty universal boot for me um, anyway so that's a really great boot especially if you're out working on the line or something like that I get a lot of linemen that buy that boot it meets so many uh, safety specifications all right so I thought first let's go ahead and start with this boot here this is actually a great example this is a gentleman who was having trouble getting his foot in this right here 
and he's and so I put in a zipper for him this is one of the uh, zipper examples and it's still tight on him which tells me the boot probably never fit in the per first place when he went didn't even try it on I don't know maybe he ordered it online so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, I'm gonna use the instep stretcher and that looks like let's see here Okay, this is an instep stretcher. So this one, it opens this way, okay? And this is, I, I think this is a new boot for him, and I believe he did say he ordered it online. Um, let's do that, and let's get my coffee out of the way. Thanks so much for joining me. Please uh, feel free to send any questions you have. And remember to subscribe or follow my channel. Thank you very much, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a special technique. First, I've pushed it inside the boot as far as, as it'll go. It has the elbow on it, so it, it bends up in a boot. And now, the way to operate the stretcher is you just twist it, it's super easy, okay? Um, some guy wrote in and said, hey, <clears throat> you should oil those. <laughs> And he's right, because I think these are probably 30 years old. And I tested it on one of the other stretchers, and it really did work just great. So, okay. Now, <clears throat> because I know he needs a really good stretch, I asked his permission to go ahead and wet the boot. Um, and that's because sometimes it could leave a watermark. I don't want to rewash his boot, but I think it's going to be fine. It's a brand new boot. And I, the water trick really helps a lot. Okay, there are a couple of options. The first one, my cute little spray bottle, hold on. Okay, so they sell shoe stretch, okay? And you can just combine it with some water in a nice little spray bottle. This is the easiest way to do it. And spritz the boot like that. Okay, that works suede it's all it's good for things like that it gives a white misting effect so it doesn't really soak it and leave a watermark but this one i want that leather to get wet so i have <clears throat> made up these washcloths and i want them almost dripping wet which is what they are right now i'm going to take a little bit of the water out There we go. And the worst that could happen is that, like I said, it would leave a, a watermark. And that would be in an instance where maybe somebody's got salt on the boot, um, and so it actually leaves that remnant. But it can always be fixed by cleaning it. I just don't want to double my work. So <laughs> anyway, I'm going to let this really set here, and I'm going to let it set overnight. And I'll let that just kind of cure like that. When I'm done with this tomorrow, I will take this off and I'm gonna leave this in here until it dries. Do not put it in the sun. It will shrink and harden your leather. So you don't wanna do that. Just let it dry in a cool, breezy spot. Sorry about that. All right, so this is a cute little downer boot that this gal bought from my store. She's got, uh, I love that she's using it a lot, but she says she would like to have it stretch a little bit more and I can see that on the front there, okay? This boot is waterproof, which is really nice. And this is gonna be a little trickier because it does have nylon up here, so I don't know how much we're gonna be able to really stretch it. I think I'll try getting it wet definitely and I think we should go ahead and use this nice big stretcher today because we need it to get inside that boot and really stretch okay so let's do that together all right so this guy is in your Amazon shopping cart and or in the uh, carousel and I'm going to tell you that they're hard to find um, so if you if you see the one that you like you know, I wouldn't sit on it too long. Um, so 
They're great to have. I think they're totally worth the investment. If you have a problem with stretching your shoes and it's consistent, buy one of these. And it takes, I mean, one of these is about 30. Double it up because you want to do a pair at a time. You're looking at about 60. You know, well, for twice that, you can just get something. You can do both pairs. They do the length. They do the width. They're the bomb. And they come with all of these extras. So we're going to use these. This is the gals. Okay. And let's start over here. Okay, these come with these little U-shaped pieces. Goes right on the back like that. And that's what it holds this together as these arms go inside and open it up. So I put them on the stretcher first, and then I also bring the stretcher into its zero location. So I've got both of the arms at zero, okay? So that way it fits right into the shoe. There you go. Ah, let's see what you guys are saying. Hi, this appeared to be beautiful. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I love it when you guys comment. Hey, sorry for the interruptions. Hawaiian Telecom's trying to fix my phone. They can't seem to fix my voicemail, so they keep calling in. But I wanted to do the show because I got to do the shoe stretching. So I'm glad you guys are with me. All right, so here we go. I've put the uh, device inside. I'm now going to bring back the length first, okay? Um, there, I put a, one of these in the shopping carousel that has two pair on it. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I'm definitely going to get that calf stretching one, the one for the boots, because I do a lot of shoe repair. So I'm, I'm doing this until I can feel it hit the front. Okay, it's about there, which is great. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the other one and it's going to do the width. And this is really going to get us here in front. And you can see it kind of measure right here. So that's kind of cool. Okay, now hold on. Let's fix this. Okay, so keep doing this. And it's just opening up this. It's going like this inside. Oops. Hi, guys. So did you like my Aloha Friday song? I am so glad I found that. Okay, and you know what else? I think I'm gonna do water on this because I know I really can't stretch that nylon. It's, it's not really gonna stretch. But I've got a little bit of room to go here, so if I wet this leather that's on both sides, it's my only real chance of getting it to open up. And I'm putting it on max. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can see where her wear line is on there. All right, so that's good. And again, this shoe is waterproof from Danner. Great little hiker if you can find them. Again, we're in the midsummer, so stocks are kind of low. Their inventory is really coming out at the end of June. So, but anyway, it's waterproof, so it won't hurt this. The, the, it's the Gore-Tex lining that keeps it waterproof. And Danner invented Gore-Tex, so here we go gonna do that and I like to really let that water drip onto the shoe there we go look at that that's cool I think that's gonna help it's our best chance okay uh, I'm not doing the heat gun because uh, this is a fabric and not a nylon um, you know like a plastic it's a, like more of a canvas and canvas doesn't stretch. So I get a lot of questions about bands. Bands are a canvas and you cannot really stretch them. So, sorry. All right, um, I, I showed you that water trick because I wanna show you something else that's not a shoe and we're not stretching it, but I'm working on it. And it's this bag. This is an original post 
when the guys used to ride on their horse and do deliver postage, this is one, it's this antique. And um, I'm restoring it. It's already had about six coats of conditioner on it. I did put wax finishes to kind of build it up. It, it, I'm gonna do it before and after. But um, I'm use, I used water on this because over all those years, these little corners here, the, the male was so heavy in the gusset that it pulled down, pulling the corners in. And so I can't get those corners back out. They're like molded into that <laughs> shape. But um, it, it did help some. I mean, I even put my foot in this bag just to try to really get it stretched. But anyway, so that would be another instance where you could use something like water. And the worst it would have done was left a watermark, but I had already cleaned the whole bag, so the bag was wet anyway. So, fantastic. Uh, this is so much fun. So, there we go. I thought I'd show you something fun. Now, let's get back to another problem that everybody has. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, so this is another boot that I sell here at the store. This is the sister company to Danner, and it's called the Cross. This is one of their hunting boots. And this guy has a real common problem. The outside of his foot, his pinky toes, you know, he's got this kind of a knuckle on the outside of his foot, and it really rubs. I mean, I can even see he has worn Gosh, I'm so sorry about the interruptions. I really debated about doing this today, but it, anyway, I have to do it. So anyway, I can see where his problem is. We're gonna go on in there with my ball and ring stretcher, this guy, okay? And I'm going to, and this is more of a plastic, so I'm gonna apply the heat where I can. Um, so you just slide it on in there and right about there. I'm going to start right about here, okay? I am going to do this spot and then I'm going to make my way up and I'm going to make my way up. But this has to, I'm going to do it dry for now. And uh, the ball and ring stretcher in the Amazon carousel includes this little screw that holds it tight. My device is so old, it didn't come with that great little invention, so I just tie it at the end. Uh, so this process takes a while, but it really does work. And uh, like I said, I could apply the water, but I think, um, I think it'll be fine on its own. We'll see. So there we go. Just tie it up a little bit. All right, so see, that's how it's gonna look. And when I take this off, it'll leave a little bubble, and that little bubble will stretch out once your foot gets in there, okay? It's just making a real dramatic change for you. Okay, so here we go. This is this cute little shoe. I really love this. This is a Omega Walk. I don't know, never heard of it, but cute little shoe. And it is too small. Stretch the purple. Okay, so um, again, this is all nylon. The only way to stretch this is with heat. Okay, so let's go ahead and find just the right size stretcher for her. See how this would work. This is a nice one. I just got this new one for myself. I had put this in somebody's shoe to stretch it and their insole came off on it. Um, that's because they use synthetic stuff. Anyway. All right, so let's go ahead. We're just gonna slide this in here. This is a perfect size for her. These shoe stretchers come in uh, numbers. It's like zero to zero, zero, then zero, zero, zero. And then I think they have one and two. So you wanna really make sure that you're getting the right stretcher when you order them. Okay. Come on. Okay, I can feel it getting tighter. And then we are gonna apply the heat gun to it. 
This is how they stretch uh, ski boots, is with the heat gun. So can you see that? See how much I've opened it up? I can feel it, it's pretty tight. And we don't wanna pop it from the sole, so I don't wanna do too much there. Instead, I've got my industrial heat gun. You can use a blow dryer at home, but the key is to um, do it about 12 inches away. And kind of, I can feel the shoe. I don't want it to uh, melt. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. And I'm gonna stretch it just a wee bit more to really get it open, just a bit more. And you know, I can tell it's got threads here, so um, thread doesn't stretch. So you have to keep that in mind if, you're, if you've got kind of the situation going on. If it's just the material, it's likely gonna stretch for you. But So we'll see. And um, I would typically try your shoes on at the end of the day. Go shoe shopping at the end of the day. Your feet are the most swollen at the time and you'll get the more accurate size. And one thing I tell people is you know right away if there is any kind of a weird rub and you think, oh, I might just break it in, no, it's really not the right shoe for you, especially if you're gonna be hiking in it, working in it. Just know that there's something better out there for you. <laughs> and there, there is, especially if you go to a you know, brick and mortar store, usually the shoe people know what they're doing. All right, so here's another one. Uh, this belongs to this famous artist. She and I worked, collaborated on a shoe project together. Um, anyway, and so she loves these boots, but they're too tight. She hasn't worn them for a while. I'm also going to shorten down the heel for her, um, but she definitely needs them stretched. So even though it's a boot, I don't have to have the elbow. I think it'll work just fine. And let's go with something like, I don't know, let's see how this one fits in there. It's kind of big, but the thing is, is that she's already worn the shoe a lot. So however more it's gonna stretch, I'm not so sure. I could always do water on it if I had to, but this is probably a size 11. So I'm just going with the men's shoe stretcher. Oh, hello, look at that, perfect. And again, it's an older shoe, so I don't wanna just you know, stretch the heck out of it because if I pop the seams, then I've got to glue it. So, nice. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? I know the treatment for this today, hold on. So this one, I, I don't, I'm not gonna use uh, water. I don't know, I just don't, it doesn't need to be drier. And I'm just gonna put some conditioner. She's my friend, I'm gonna make them beautiful anyway. So um, I'm just gonna condition it. It'll give it a nice, nice moisturizing and it'll help it stretch. There. Oh, this is definitely gonna give her, I think, exactly what she needs. I mean, it's right there where the creases are of her boot. So awesome, that's very exciting. I wanted to treat her right because she did me right. Okay, and then we've got one more and it's this gentleman. I love this guy. He's been a long time customer and you know, okay, our feet are shaped like a duck, right? Square. <laughs> that's what our feet really look like, not like, that so i'm not surprised that his feet get uncomfortable in this shoe but it's a gorgeous allen edmonds this is called the carlisle and you know they have their own special um polishes and dyes like their colors are specific so whenever i go to polish a shoe like this i don't want to deviate from the original color and this is a hard color you know it's like the client and i talked about it the only thing i'd want to do is maybe just condition it 
or do a neutral polish on it is about it, but no color. Okay, so let's find him one. <clears throat> I think that'll work. Okay, here we go. Push that right up into the end. This is a real shoe, okay? For it's it's hard to find shoes that actually have a real welt. But uh, Alan Edmonds, no doubt, and I am not related to them. <laughs> okay, so you can hear that. That's the leather stretching. So we know we've got a good stretch. See that? That's nice. And um, I'm not going to do too much more to it. I can tell his soles wants to come unglued. Uh, so, but it's stitched down, so it's not going to. Um, but I don't want to have to deal with that because then I'd have to replace all that stitching on the bottom. It's a big job, so we don't want to do that. Just going to put a little conditioner on it for him because, and, and definitely I would not do the water because this one might create a watermark and then I've got to wash it to get rid of it, put back the luster. And like I said, I don't want to, you know, challenge what's, what this, the, the color that they did. So conditioner, there we go. Okay, fantastic. This is a quick show today. So we are actually at our end. Please remember to subscribe. Remember to write your questions. You can email me at terryedmonds.com. Have a fabulous weekend. I look forward to seeing you guys next week. I think we're doing a beach review video. So that'll be so much fun. Uh, beach towels, good glasses, stuff like that. Great beach shots. I can't wait to join you guys. So have a great weekend. Be safe and aloha.